Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today my brewing up creativity with Jamie class that I do live locally and I also do a refresher for me because I create the card at least a month in advance and so I need a slight refresher and so two cards is usually what we do this is one of two I will get to the second one it'll load probably within a day or two they take a little longer because it's a longer video. So this one is fairly simple and easy. I have everything already cut, stamped, die cut out, and we just put them together and color them in class. I supply everything for it, so at least in person class. So it goes fairly fast. We usually get two cards done in a two hour time slot. So I am using a Riley and Company stamp today. I'm using the St. Patty's beer or the Celtic one. I have both of them. I like to give my students options because I like options and I think everyone should have a little bit of, you know, creative flexibility. So the first one I did was with that one. I think today we're going to go with the little beer St. Patty. I should do no, I'm going to do this one because I wanted to do a resist technique. So the rest of that one is fairly easy. So we're going to go with, I had originally colored it with colored pencils and gamisol. I decided to bring out my aqua pigments today. I haven't done aqua pigments for quite a while. And so they've been sitting there getting old. And I thought today would be a great day to get some aqua pigments out and play with. These are some of them, not all of them, because I know I have sunflower and that's not on here. But I usually do color swatches, so it makes picking colors a little bit faster and easier. So for my, I'm gonna just go in with the brown. I could do the gingerbread, which has got a metallic, which would be kind of pretty. We could do metallic. Let's do the shimmery gingerbread but a brown in general um i would go with a distress ink and probably photograph if you are looking at coloring them that way aqua pigments are just liquid watercolor that already have water you can directly color them it's kind of like coloring with a reinker, but it's already got that added water in there so if that's something that you want to try um, they're kind of fun to play with, but definitely not something you need. If I could do it over again, I'd probably just buy the reinkers and go that route. Clover here has a little bit of a shimmer to it, I think. No, the clover does not. Ireland does. But I think I want to go with either the green or the clover. I did pull out both of them. Clover is more vibrant. The green, I think, is going to go better with my paper option. So let's go with the green. Let's hope these colors stay true to form because my, ugh, maybe we won't go with the green. This one does not look like the color that it is supposed to be. I will say this for my Brutus Monroe aqua pigments. Yeah, that is definitely looking more blue green. Um, they've lost their color my black one is not black, it's like a blue. So let's try, should we try mixing some? This one's yellow green. I did shake these because they were, let's be honest, not, they haven't aged well. Let's, let's mix those two, see how that looks. I might end up using the clover one for class. I don't know if I wanna do yellow because I think I was going to do yellow in color pencil. Uh, brown, green. I really don't need that many colors for this one. Brown and green. I could throw in a yellow if I really wanted to. I'll put it in my palette. I don't plan on using it. And maybe I should... Ew, that was gross. Let's test that one out. Oh, well, it's yellow. I think we'll be fine with yellow. I wonder if I want to do the other shade of brown so I can add some more water to it. And I don't know. Now let's just go with those three and we'll, 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 we'll work it from there. 
I was going to try doing an ink resist with some watercolor pen or with just regular colored pencils. So I wanted to bring in my skirt. I had, I did it the opposite way, but I think I can do it this way. So I'm going to do my yellow in colored pencil because it should resist. And I say that for this one because you have these fine little lines on here. So I'm just going to come in and do my yellow on the hat and then on the skirt. So if I do my yellows here, and this way, so I can get that plaid check without having to worry about my colors bleeding together or waiting for them to dry an excessively long amount of time. And that's it for this one. I need my colors. I kind of want to go with a smaller brush, but I don't think I have them for class. So I like to use what I have for class. So I also don't have water prepped today because I am un prepared to be on top of it today. It happens. It's, I do have water. I just have to locate said water. It's bright and sunny today. It's March. <sighs> I wish I could say it's going to stay warm. We're expected another snowstorm. Yeah, I'm totally not ready for more snow. Let's uh, zoom in here. Let's see if it'll focus. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Can we focus? Focus. There we go. So, if you can see, I did yellow on my plaid. I want to make sure that it's going to not blend with my green. And since I mixed my green here, let's, let's see what color we ended up with. That's an okay green. We'll go with it. And I'm just going to go in and very gently kind of color there. I'm trying to avoid it for the most part, but it should ink resist. So let's see if I can grab. I'm just going to grab a Kleenex here to see if it will buff off a little bit. And it, if you look closely, can you see? It's giving you a little bit of that ink resist in there or water resist so it won't soak up. It shouldn't soak up the watercolor where that colored pencil is because colored pencil is a wax, you know, in a roundabout way, I guess. And so we're going to do the same thing here. This just allows me to not be quite as, and it should also help contain the color in between those squares. It makes finicky work a little less, I don't know, finicky I guess. It gives you a little bit of a border. I need boundaries sometimes. So how is the weather where you're at? I hear they're having crazy weather out, is it out west that they're having snow in places that they normally don't have snow? We were on vacation uh, visiting my dad out east. He lives in Maryland and so the one day it was like almost 80 out and then it was cold the rest of the time it wasn't it wasn't wonderful weather it wasn't wonderful warm like Hawaii would have been or southern Florida <sighs> it was it was beautiful though it was good to see family so plus I have little nephews that you know they're little so one turned five months while we were out there and the other one is six months and they're so fun at that you know getting to that moving and shaking stage and they grow way too fast and I miss way too much of it 
because obviously by the time I see them again, they will probably be crawling and walking and doing all those things that babies do quite rapidly, growing. It had only been, well, two and a half months, I think, since we saw them, and yes, they've grown quite, quite a bit since we saw them last. Just going in with that solid color. I'm not adding any water to this one yet to give me that moosey brown color. I should really look up moose antlers. I'm thinking moose antlers are lighter, but I don't know if they are. They might be darker because don't don't moose antlers have like a velvet on them? I don't remember. It's been a while. So let's see if we mix some colors here. Let's add a little bit of yellow to that one and a little bit of water. Well, if I go with this one, which is going to have a lot of water, we can see how light it is. trying to think my original one I used well so the Riley and Company one shows that it's moose antlers are darker <sighs> I'm thinking that's what it's supposed to be so in that case let me pull in I need something that's darker and I don't have a darker brown let me go with uh, I don't think I have I probably have ground espresso in a pad like a distress pad. I might have it for class off the look. So I'm just gonna bring in a little teeny drop of ground espresso. And since the last class we didn't do good with this one, I'm going to squirt water in there right away. The issue with distress reinkers is it's a resin. And so if you don't add enough water, it's not gonna dry because it's a resin. So keep that in mind when you are painting with distress reinkers. That's why using Distress ink pads, smooshing them and painting because you need to add water to get enough to get your color is probably a good option. I'm just going to go in and add those. I still need to do my second card for my class, like for my April class. The first one I posted on Instagram. If you follow me, you've got to see it. It's a cute little baby card using Lawn Fawn's new, I think it's the Elephant Parade set I ended up using. I haven't figured out what I'm doing for my second one yet. I was kind of thinking April to me is like wedding season. I don't know if that's true or not anymore. When we were growing up, I think it was always like April April through October, at least in Minnesota, because it's warmer here. Those months, then you didn't see as many winter weddings. Granted, we got married in November because with field work, it was just made more sense to do. Or with farm work, our load gets less in the winter months. So that way we could do. What color do I want to color that one? I think on my other one I did green, like a different shade of green, but I think we're going to come in with just some yellow for that one. Oh, I didn't do his little snout and I'm off camera. Sorry. Let's see, the snout. Um, hmm. I suppose I could do a watered down version of this one. Add a little bit of water. And there's my little Mary Moose. It's not really my Riley Moose. My Riley and Co Moose. 
I'm gonna set him to the side to dry and we will get started on, well, yeah, we'll get started on the other ones. On putting together my card. So in class, we usually do all of the painting all at once, just because that way it dries in between. So I might end up hitting that one with a heat tool. We will find out. So for this one, it's a fairly simple one. I just have a St. Patrick's Day pattern paper. I think I can do an ivory colored cardstock on this one. And so we're just going to add my card base is a little off here. That's all right. I'll put it towards the top and I'll trim it off later on. First, since I have, I was going to do a stamped sentiment on the inside before I get around to doing the actual card base because I'm doing the action wobbler on there. It works a little bit better to do. I need to zoom out. Sorry about that. It works a little bit better to do the inside of the card base before you do the outside because that action wobbler will give it a little bit of bulk and then I won't be able to flip my card inside out to stamp it. Now I did pick, I found it. It was on my actual pile to go yet. So, may your troubles be less, your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. The other one I could have used was, may you have warm hands on a cold night, a full moon on a dark night, and the road downhill all the way to your door. Old Irish blessings. I love old Irish blessings. Now, this one is a rubber stamp. So, to line this one up, I'm actually going to... I'm going to put it in the center there, pick it up, and then I'm going to look at it this way. Now, I will probably stamp this one out beforehand to make sure that it is... Don't mind the sky's the limit stamp on there yet because I need to put that one away. I just haven't done it yet. Oh, well, there's that one. Let's come in here with a piece of acetate. And that will help me to say, see, here, let the shenanigans begin. I don't know if that one's going to be big enough. Nope. Okay. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. All right. I'm just going to use this one. And let's pull in the pad here. I'm just using a black VersaFine Onyx black for class. We would probably use like a long fond jet black. That actually looks pretty straight. I'm impressed with myself. Huh. I very rarely get these types to line up straight right away. My eyeballs are working well today. So I'll stamp that on the inside, maybe. There we go. Looks good. I'm going to set that off to dry just a little bit here. Clean off this one. And then we're going to switch it out with the little let the shenanigans begin. I need my foam insert again. Foam insert and a little piece here. I'm going to tuck that up into the corner there. Pull that little corner down and then I'm bringing in a Colorado Craft Company Lovely Legs stamp set. I legit bought this stamp set because the sentiments on these are there's just so many and well I like the image too but on their own the sentiments are probably you know 
my favorite things on the Lovely Legs stamp sets from Colorado Craft Company. I can do Happy St. Patrick's Day, Queen of Shenanigans. Uh, you're wearing your bit of green today. I think. I think we'll just do the. We'll let the shenanigans begin again. That's a very Jamie thing to say. Probably because I might be the queen of shenanigans. I am not Irish. I am part Scottish. Not Irish. That I know of. Um, I was trying to wiggle it to line it center because I didn't put it on my thing very center. But I think we're good there. And I will stamp that. Make sure it's stamped good. One and done. Cover my ink pad up. Put it away because I will more than likely end up with inky fingers and ink smudged everything. And set that one off to the side. And we should have, this one should be dry. So I'm going to not rub it and just flip it the right way in hopes that I don't smear it. Jamie, why are you so worried about smearing everything? Because let me tell you, when I was doing my mousse are on, my Rileys are on Bristol Smooth cardstock and I had done Mementos ink for the first batch because Mementos it's water resistant and I can use Gamisol on it. Well, I can also do it with Juan Fon Jet Black ink, but I, I was, you know, trying to be all professional or something. I don't know. And I was like, oh, I can do it with the mementos. I forget that it takes a long time to dry on Bristol Smooth. And I smudged a whole sheet. Yeah. I was very impressed with myself. Super, super impressed with myself. We're just going to come in with liquid glue and do all the way around. And line that up. The liquid glue lets you wiggle it a little bit. So if you're not quite on center when you lay it down, you can kind of adjust. So we're going to put that one down there. And then I am going to see which side does not have inky finger marks on it. Or see the side that has inky finger marks. And put the glue on the side that has the inky finger marks. And then this one is just going to be down in the center on this one. This one is a super simple card. You could use any image on it that you want. The action wobbler is kind of, you know, the bee's knees on this one. All the fun stuff. So let the shenanigans begin. We could pop that one up on some foam squares, but I think I'm just going to lay it flat. And I'm just going to center it in between the two sides and then make my bottom margin about the same as my side margins or as good as I can. And then it's just a matter of these ones I got from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a pack of 10 for $3.99 right now, I think, or I mean, that's the normal price for them, which is a great price. Quality-wise, they're not as good as, say, the actual Wobbler brand Action Wobblers, which are like, I don't know, my other craft store sells them, and they're like 10 bucks for 10 of them. They're like a dollar a piece. So I guess you get what you pay for, maybe kind of. The, the dollar, or I should say the Hobby Lobby ones, aren't always the most reliable this one I had to pop it back on so the one I think the first card I did I ended up going through three of them before I had one that would actually work yeah now my little mousse here isn't exactly dry he's mostly dry but I'm just gonna 
attach them and call it good. You could add some liquid adhesive to make sure that he stays on there. I didn't feel the need this time, but there he goes. See, he's just, he's dancing his little Irish jig. He's kind of a cute little, cute little fellow. I think we need to add something to it. Do we need to add something more to it? I mean, it's probably fine, but we could definitely do some little embellishments. There is that first card. My battery's going to die, so. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have an amazing day.